Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, an integration technical architect. In my recent couple of videos, uh, I have been explaining about Maven and I started off with the basics and uh, also I explained uh, uh, how to create and install third party jars into the centralized uh, uh, Nexus repository. So uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to create a centralized Nexus repository. Uh, which can be used for corporate or uh, organizational level repository where uh, um, the reusable uh, APIs and jars can be uh, kept in the centralized repository and can be distributed to the team members. This central repository is essential for uh, uh, every organization because uh, Mule, in general Mule 3 or Mule 4 is uh, uh, architectured in such a way that uh, they can have uh, multiple layers, uh, namely experience API, process API and systems API. So these APIs are uh, uh, designed for uh, reusable purpose. In particular, process and uh, systems API are created only once and it can be used in uh, multiple experience API. So these APIs are built and combined together by using POM dependencies uh, only when there are centralized uh, Nexus repository is uh, available. So the team members can refer those uh, uh, system level APA in terms of group ID, uh, artifact ID and versions uh, when they create new APIs. So uh, let's start with uh, uh, the way in which we have to create an access repository in three different steps. First, we are going to see how to download it and uh, how to install and set up the Nexus repository. And then finally, we are going to see how to use uh, or set up Mule 4 project uh, for releasing this uh, jar file automatically into the Nexus repository while we are doing the build and deployment. Let's get started. First, let's go to the uh, Sonar type uh, download page. This is a page. Um, if you need it, I can link this to the description below. So I'm going to use this uh, stable version uh, 2.14.1 and uh, I have downloaded it and uh, um, so this is a zip file that got downloaded. So we are going to copy this uh, and we are going to save it uh, under software folder. So I have created a Nexus folder and then copied this uh, zip file here and then we are going to uh, extract them um, I have done it already and while after extracting you will see two different folders. So uh, let's copy this and then uh, let's go to the program files folder. So since I am uh, demonstrating from the local uh, machine I am using the Windows uh, server and uh, if you have uh, a centralized server uh, which is a Linux box where you can run this uh, related uh, Linux scripts and there is a separate uh, uh, artifact that's available. You can choose this uh, uh, tar.gc and you can do the same step. So uh, the, uh, the installation steps are uh, somewhat similar between Linux and Windows. So once uh, you copy those folders and you paste it in uh, program files and uh, I have already done that and here is it. So uh, we have these two folders copied and uh, now we are ready to do some installations. So let's copy this folder and let's uh, open the command prompt under administrator option. So we opened it and then we can go to that folder and under which uh, uh, you can see bin folder and under which you can see JSW folder. So you need to open that. So when you list it out, uh, you can see uh, uh, various uh, uh, types of OS and you can go to the uh, appropriate folder. Now, since I'm using this 64 uh, bit Windows 10, so I can use this and uh, let me so let me open the appropriate folder 
and now you can see there are various uh, batch files that are available and uh, uh, you have one of the files called install nexus uh, dot bat so you can trigger that uh, batch file and upon enter uh, you will see the nexus gets uh, installed automatically and uh, once uh, it's installed you will be able to see this as a service you can see here under the services you can see the sonar type nexus uh, uh, deployed and brought it as a windows service here already so uh, this is very easy then you can uh, do this operations uh, and start the server by simply right clicking and uh, either by starting or stopping so or at the same time you also have the uh, necessary commands available to start the nexus server here for example you can uh, issue start dot nexus uh, dot batch file so the server will stop start automatically so i have done that already and the server is uh, already in a start state so this is a url and uh, it i have uh, preferred to have it under 8088 port and if you want you can update it let me show you how to change the configuration so go to conf and you can see nexus properties right click and uh, open it and i have uh, updated this application hyphen port into 8088 and uh, by default it was 8081 and which has been used for some other purpose so i have updated it to the unused port 8088 so once it's made available you can log in uh, by using the default uh, credentials which is admin and admin 123 so you'll be able to log in and then do the all the administrator level uh, functionalities so when you have this at the enterprise level once you uh, uh, put uh, important uh, licensed uh, jar files you might need to secure it by using by changing the default password into a different one i think uh, you know it already so let's see how to configure this and then uh, use it in our uh, uh, mule mule soft projects so we might need to make some changes uh, to this uh, pom file so once its uh, centralized repository is created from then on uh, whichever projects you have uh, you might need to update the pom file as a template so whenever you create a new api you need to ensure uh, that certain uh, data are uh, added into the pom file for example here i have added distribution management and under which i have added the repository name called uh, uh, siva repository and then i have added the url so this uh, url is meant for the uh, repositories and release content which we normally uh, create it so let's go and uh, see how to do that let's go to the repositories and i have named one of the uh, and i have named the releases repository there are different types of repositories uh, nexus uh, provides you and uh, you have the public repositories third party and uh, whichever available uh, or which must be secured under the enterprise level you can create it and add the security and you can make uh, different users at, according to the role level so that they can access this particular content so i have created it under the name siva hyphen repository so let's see how to refer it and then access it in the mule soft project so i have given the same name here id name and the url name and the url which you can copy from uh, here by clicking which it will take you to the repository where you can browse all the files it's just a storage and uh, this url gives you an a controlled and uh, uh, authorized way of accessing this file system via browser url so it's not a magic but uh, it's a controlled way of accessing the uh, files put in the proper structure so the next change that you might need to add is uh, the plugin so the plugin command has to be given uh, you know about maven goals like uh, clean build deploy package so uh, those are all goals which you need to set up here and uh, which might need to be configured under uh, server id nexus and the nexus url which i have given here so the id can be anything because it it just uh, implies when you deploy which is the url where it has to be attempted 
So this is about the uh, uh, project level palm structure that you might need to design uh, once you have the Nexus uh, uh, configured for your uh, enterprise at uh, org level. So almost uh, uh, all the steps are completed and we have few more things to do. So once uh, the uh, centralized repository setup is completed, then we need to set up all the uh, developers machine with a settings.xml, which should contain uh, the Nexus repository credential. Let's see how to set it up. So I have uh, copied the file settings.xml from uh, my M2 folder. And this is a place where the settings.xml is available. So this must be under C, C colon users and whichever the username uh, for that local machine. And dot uh, m2 folder will contain repository. And uh, repo within the repository, you will have all the uh, project related uh, POM files and JAR files. And in line with the repository under the root folder, you will have the settings.xml with all the uh, details available. I'm not going to open this settings.xml because it contains all my project related details. So I have copied here for demonstration purpose and then I can open and see, uh, show you the different configurations. So under server, I have set up this uh, uh, repository name, which is uh, same as uh, Nexus repository name given here, Siva repository. And I have given the uh, default username. There is nothing to hide here because it's uh, it's uh, available in local. So the username is admin and password is admin123. So this is about the server setup which uh, Maven uses automatically by default it goes and refers this username and password uh, when you are attempting to do this build and uh, deployment. And finally you might need to have uh, uh, repository specified here under the repository section you will have ID the same ID the same name and the URL you might need to give so this is the uh, setup required uh, uh, for maven to come and refer the repository details and the related credentials so we have come to the final step of this uh, process where we can we are ready to uh, build and deploy this at the same time uh, we can release this uh, the built project into the Nexus folder. So let's see, uh, I'm going to, for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to uh, increase the version because I have built 1.0.0 already and I'm going to have it as 1.0.1. .1. So I saved it. So let's go to the command prompt and here it is. So the Nexus demo is the folder which I have copied from here. So this is my project uh, folder location. So I copied here. And the command uh, to do is this goal should have deploy. And you can say uh, uh, maven clean package and deploy. So. deploy and uh, you want to give uh, uh, the setup with the settings.xml because which I'm not going to refer to the default settings.xml available in .m2 folder but rather I have to specify my settings.xml explicitly so let's try that so maven starts uh, building and uh, it will be attempting to install this and it's trying to uh, upload the file uploading to this particular folder com.siva under 1.0.1 let's check it out don't worry about this error and it uh, finally ends but uh, the uh, upload is successful let's go and check it out let's refresh so let's open com siva nexus demo and there you see 1.0.1 .1 where you have the palm file and the jar file uploaded successfully and also you can take a look at this uh, repository content 1.0.1 .1. so this contains the latest timestamp where you can see the palm file and jar file successfully 
so we have come to the end of this video and uh, i hope this uh, this will be useful for both uh, uh, lead level and architect level where they can set up a nexus repository for uh, enterprise level so for the demonstration purpose i have used my local machine and i have used uh, local host but uh, at the network level the team lead and architects uh, can work with the network team and they can request to create a new server with appropriate configuration and the space available for these uh, storage and then they can install this and then they can uh, instead of local host they can uh, use uh, dns and uh, they can expose it to the org level or if required uh, if uh, uh, the branch is available in multiple locations you can expose it to the uh, intranet level or internet level so that others can also make use of this content so uh, hope you found this video useful and uh, hope you like it so if so please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe my videos so that i can come up with uh, my next set of videos uh, usefully thanks for watching bye